Oh, bro. Dipping in shit. Oh, dude. There's shell over my fucking room. Alright, so my big brother, he's outside in the back, and um, I'm just here uh, in the other room because my dad's sleeping, because, you know, old man syndrome, all asleep on couches and whatnot. But yeah, I'm about to make uh, some snacks for us. Check it out. So we got some French toast. I'm about to put it in the toaster and add some jelly. I don't know if he's ever tried this. I've never tried it. It's just the idea and the thought that counts. We didn't eat breakfast, yeah. We just went to the gas station. And yeah, I'm about to go back there, feed the birds. I'm surprised about us. Because he likes to eat. He always makes me food all the time. Without me even asking. Brother! Brother! Huh? This, this French toast with jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know this is. I toasted it up. God damn, nigga. It didn't get uh, crunchy, but. It good? Mm-hmm. I, I, I. Thank you, my boy. Yeah. So we're gonna eat them the natural way. Because, um, that's how it really goes. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Oh, she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys before i go to work i'm gonna try to feed the birds with my bro you already know yep. um the snow and ice stuff whatever the heck you want to call it starting to melt everyone's getting some sun today it's nice and it's like 40 50 degrees today so they're doing all right the blacks in there chilling there getting some water the water's defrosted inside yeah everyone's looking okay um i'm actually gonna draw out this hen and i have a surprise for her coming soon if you guys follow me on instagram you probably see the surprise early and then again a the little big man he's still doing all right his first one in texas again uh kikariki rooster bb red doing all right <laughs> Hanging in there with his, uh, I'm trying to get some blue reds out of them. And then I move the silver fawns down because they're on, on top. Because they're a little bit more wild than all my other birds. They're not really used to being handled. So that's why I put them on the ground so I could get them, get to them easily. And they don't, they can't fly out over the fence. My brother's dog, Talis, he's chained up on, like, the other side of the fence. And he's not really trained to be around chickens. And then Chief is just because, like, he was around it ever since he was, like, a puppy puppy. You know what I mean? So he learned at a young age not to hurt the chickens and whatnot. So, um, again, my brother, I just came from... Hawaii with the talus. Look at that icicle. Can y'all see the icicle? Crazy, man. That's crazy. Whoa, look at this owl. My mom brought my goddaughter outside. My sister's a uh, kid. If you guys remember when I used to live in San Diego, this is uh, her daughter. Doesn't she look like the kid that says, Look at all those chickens. <laughs> She's cute. She's awesome. She's really gentle with the birds, too. I let her uh, hold them, and I would let her down, but she doesn't really have shoes on. She just learned how to walk, so she's, like, moving all over the place. It's really awesome and cool. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like it's good that we bring her out here and get up, you know, watching Coco Lemon or whatever the hell. And look at her, she's getting it. It's like, what? What'd you say? What are you talking about? But I think it's like good to get her out here and, you know, look at the birds instead of, you know, on the phone. Because nowadays, everyone's like growing up on the phone at YouTube and whatnot. Y'all are on YouTube right now, but it's like a good and bad thing. I mean, it's like how they, I don't know, limit the time. You know what I'm saying? How we supposed to stay in touch when you don't even call me? I try dialing you up. Let it ring, I get salty Miss all conversations that we used to have Again, guys, I'm only 22. I'm new to breeding. For you guys who don't raise chickens, you're probably wondering, like, what do you do? You know, honestly, we just sit here and watch them. They're, like, watch them to learn and, and stuff like that. You can learn so much through the internet. Look at their, how their body shaped, how they grow, their tail. You know, because they do have their own personalities in a way, too, if you do watch them and, and spend some time with them, some, you know, quality time. But, yeah, that's what we do here at the Little P Bantams Big P Game Camp headquarters. <laughs> What I've come to realize, like raising chicken, is that it takes patience. Like it's it's it seems to be like a lot of like life values. You know what I'm saying? To be patient, give give these birds some like TLC, tender loving care. Um, like you know, obviously you know these things, but. Oh, that's like you know people have their own hobbies and shit like that. But my brother's saying got out. He's trying to get her. Game over, Red Rover. Chicken on, chicken on. And yeah, we use fishing nets to tackle it. Alright, I'm a bit lazy to get my tripod, so we're just gonna do it like this. I said, guys, 1% better. But yeah, what I'm about to do right now, see how like this thing's hanging up here on the side? I'm about to just do the same thing and we got to the bottom, so that the food off the ground. Since we got the new feeders in for the water, they work, they work awesome, man. I think they're perfect. Especially if we got these big bottles, I just gotta get them from work. 1% better each day, or at least I try to, you know what I mean? Yeah, obviously, it's hard to keep trying to get better and better when you know, life throws you obstacles and all this bullshit. You know, I'm just, again, this is my vlog. I'm just sharing.
hurt my feelings and whatever the fuck. Sometimes it's hard to focus on yourself, put time on yourself because we're caught up in the world and how it's designed for us. And that's okay. Like there's no right time to start anything and that's why that's why I had to take a step back for a little bit and, and get my head kind of screwed on straight in a way. Still not screwed on straight again, y'all. I'm just 22, man. Again, still figuring out shit. Right now, I'm still trying to figure out how to fucking cut this shit. And if it's gonna even work. I hope so. It should work. No, I just gotta staple the hoe. Bang, bang, bang. That sounds stupid, but I really know how you taste. So if you gonna feel some way, why don't you go on and tell him? Start leaving the middle limbo. You let on be felon. Start living it in the present. You base your future off the past. Belt. I like those type of things. They just look silly sometimes, but it's honestly convenient. But yeah, I'm about to just use these ones. I'm about to clean it out. See, just where it's off the ground. You know what I'm saying? And it's good enough to where it doesn't slide. That's why I leave this. And it's good enough to where you could just take it off, you know? That's pretty much it. But yeah, now I just gotta repeat the process uh, three more times. Because I just gotta finish the bottom. But everything else above is all set and ready to go. Spark that beat up. For that yeah, if you guys want to talk more about shit, I'll be live on Instagram and shit, and we could talk. Till then, this is my YouTube, you know what I'm saying? My vlogs, my life. Just moments, baby. All right, so I'm pre-bending them. So I bend them all the same way. There's grooves on one side. I feel like this side would be easier for the food to slide down. I don't know. But yeah, now they're matching. This guy got a little feed cup. Now, now they got a little feed cup. The hang and water. That's where I want it to be for now. I'm jealous of the rain. It falls upon your skin It's closer than my hands have been Oh, I'm jealous of rain Cause I wished you the best of all this world could give And I told you when you left me there's nothing to forgive But I always thought you'd come back And tell me all you found was Heartbreak and misery It's hard for me to say I'm jealous of the way You're happy without 